is absolutely essential for me to be able to share huge amount of files to clients or workmates. So it's perfect to have my own personal cloud service and a file server. This is actually one of the best things that Synology offers because Next is using it for your backups. Well, now, the Synology DS923 Plus is again there for you with the help of the Synology Surveillance Station. Do you want to have these things? If you do, then you need a NAS. And since you're here, I'd assume that you need help setting it up. And you don't have to worry. I got you. What is up, good people? This is Jay, and in this video, I'll be guiding you on how to quickly set up your Synology NAS. So, without further ado, let's get it started. Alright, first in box is this bad boy. Then install your HDDs. In our case, we went with two 12TB Synology Plus Series HDDs because of its reliability, seamless firmware updates, and because it is specifically built for NASes. Next, lock the tray using the included key. Connect the power cable, connect it to your router using the included LAN cable, and turn it on. Now to set it up, make sure that your computer is connected to the same network the NAS is connected to. Open your browser and use the web assistant by going to find.synology.com or download Synology Assistant from their website. Once your NAS pops up, click connect, agree to the terms after reading it, click next, continue, click install, then select to automatically download and install the latest DSM version from a Synology website, then click next to install DSM. Keep in mind that all the data in your hard drives will be erased. Keep the NAS turned on during the installation, which will take about 10 minutes or less. Once done, it will reboot automatically and you'll hear a short beep when it's ready. Once it's done, we click start. Then we fill in the information together with the DSM admin account details that we want to use. Click next and select the options you prefer, but I suggest that you select to have it installed the latest DSM version automatically. We'll skip creating an account for now, but we'll get back to it later. You may opt in for device analytic submission to get a better user experience from future updates. Once we get to our GUI's homepage, there will be a pop-up telling you that after you create a volume, the system will install the basic packages and their dependencies and that the user home service will be enabled automatically. Click Install Now. Then you'll be presented with the option to enable 2FA and Adaptive MFA. After that, you'll be asked to create a storage pool and a volume. So we click Create Now, then Start. Here, you'll be able to select which RAID type suits you best. In our case, we'll go for the Synology Hybrid RAID or SHR. Keep in mind that if you have four or more hard drives, you may select SHR2 as your RAID type for a two-drive fault tolerance. Click Next. Then select the hard drives you'll be using. Next, you may choose to perform a drive check or skip it, but since we're using a trusted drive from a reputable brand, we'll skip this for now. This time, we'll set the storage allocation and volume description. For allocation, we'll click Max, then click Next. Here, we'll select BTRFS that will provide more features to our NAS. Click Next. Once it's done creating our volume, you'll get the option to encrypt your volume if you wish to do so. Review your settings, then click Apply. And again, keep in mind that all the data in your hard drive will be erased. And that's it. Your Synology NAS is now ready for you to use. But remember this step we skipped earlier? Well, let's get on with it because I'll show you how to set up Quick Connect so you may access your Synology NAS and its services wherever you are easily. First, create your Synology account by going to account.synology.com. After you're done with that, open your web GUI, go to Control Panel, select the External Access section, then Quick Connect. Enable Quick Connect, then sign in using your Synology account. Put the Quick Connect ID we'd want to use, then click Apply. Now, to enhance the Quick Connect connectivity, we'll enable the Quick Connect Relay service. In this window, you'll also find the options to enable or disable Quick Connect for specific applications or services. Now, for more options as to what your NAS can do, you may check out a variety of packages you can install in the Package Center. Also, to make it even more convenient, you may download the Synology mobile apps in Google Play Store or Apple App Store. That being said, with your Quick Connect ID, you now have access to your files wherever you are.
and that is how you set up your Synology NAS. Well, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one, of course, for product updates and offers. Make sure to check out Synology on their socials. And as always, for questions, suggestions, comments, and whatnot, don't be shy to use the comment section or hit me up on my socials anytime. Again, my name is Jay telling you to keep that smile, stay positive, and don't forget to rock on and rock hard.